Hi everyone, so today is just the quickest little video because I actually need to leave my house in 30 minutes. I haven't done like a day wear a test in a while and I want to go, go back to like doing those again. Um, so today will be a wear test, so obviously that's why I needed to do it. Uh, in the morning rather than in the evening, which is when I usually film. So I'll be testing this Catrice Cosmetics uh, Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. This is of course one of the um, like really cheap super drug um, drugstore concealers that Tati, Tati Westbrook raves about. She always talks about this one, she wears it a lot like with other like concealers that are much more expensive. This one is only about five dollars. I got this on eBay in the UK. It was basically the same price and I've been using it for the past while um, but I wanted to give it like a long day test as well where I'm actually you know, recording and kind of paying attention to how it's doing a little bit better. Five milliliters of product or 0.16 fluid ounces. This is in the shade 007 Natural Rose. This is one of their newer shades um, that wasn't like available everywhere that I was looking, but I found it anyway. It says this lasts 12 hours and it's waterproof. I don't think I'll wear this for 12 hours. This It is now 12 in the afternoon. Right off the bat, this smells quite nice. The smell isn't as potent as the Tarte Shape Tape, the kind of florally smell, but it smells, I want to say rosy, but a little bit, it, does, it doesn't smell like food, it smells like something you want to put on your face. It smells like skincare, I think. Um, by the way, I also got um, the Bobbi Brown, what is this called? Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is another thing that both Tati and Jeffree Star are raving about. So um, I actually put that on um, just before making this video. And so this I'm going to wear that as my concealer for today. I'm kind of trying to test it just a few times under my makeup a little bit first before I make a video on it. Um, and then maybe I'll do like a primer comparison, like half and half kind of a deal, we'll see. So both eyes are blended out, I'm going to go into um, Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder and just bake under those eyes. So while my bake is baking, I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I'll just catch up with you before the end of the day. So this is basically me finished with the makeup for the day. This is what I'll be wearing. Uh, of course, the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer will be under the test for the next couple hours. Um, it's basically quarter past 12 right now. Right, so I'm gonna have to go to catch my train. I will catch up with you in a couple of hours, at least five or six, and then we'll talk about this concealer a little bit more. See you then. Okay, so it is now 8 o'clock, so I think I put it on at 12, so it's been 8 hours. I think that's a pretty standard day. I was falling asleep lying on my bed, uh, trying to, you know, really push these hours. I had a pretty normal day, I had a lot of coffee, some food, um, you know, nothing specifically... I didn't work out or anything. It is raining outside and windy, so some rain hit my face and stuff like that. So I think it's a pretty normal kind of test. You know, my comparison of a high coverage concealer, which of course this Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer is very high coverage. So my comparison is to the Kat Von D Locket and the Tarte Shape Tape. Now the first first things first, obviously the price is so much cheaper and... But having said that, this concealer is competing with those two which are much more expensive. They are in their 20, 25, 30 dollar range. This is five dollar. It is competing and it is doing really well. I don't want to tell you that any one of those three is much better than the others. I, I don't think any one of them is any better than the others. Obviously this is the best price. Like this is honestly... I think this is behaving or this has behaved better than the shape tape. I'm gonna zoom this out. I think it's genuinely behaved better than the shape tape. Shape tape foundation or the shape tape concealer is so thick 
that it's very, very difficult, you know, to kind of manage. I know Tati says that it doesn't crease on her at all. Um, she's literally the only person that I know says that about shape tape. It creases on me, it creases a lot on my friends, and yeah, I think with the Kathmandu D is also quite thick. I don't think it creased as much on me, but it's hard to compare. They're very, very sim similar concealers. Whereas this one, well, first of all, you're able to apply less, um, not that you're unable with shape tape, you can just grab a smaller brush, the shape tape brush being so big, but you're able to, you know, this 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 applicator is much, much smaller, much thinner, much slimmer, It's it's just easier to apply less and the consistency is more liquidy than both Kat Von D and Tarte. So if, if Tarte is here on the thickness, Kat Von D is in the middle and then Catrice is the most liquidy. And I think because of that, you're able to blend it better and just put a little bit of it and, you know, make it spread more than, you know, something like Tarte, which is a little bit more thick. And I think because it's liquid, it doesn't, you know, it's easier to set, it's easier to kind of stay put on your face. This is, this is a fantastic concealer. I would genuinely, genuinely recommend it to anyone. Um, anyone that can find their shade in this, I think they only have about seven, you know, Kat uh, Von D and the Shape Tape, the concealer anyway, and that the foundation have a lot, a lot of shades. This one is much smaller, but, you know, if you can find it, I would really, really go for it. I don't know what else to tell you. This is a drugstore concealer that competes with, you know, concealers that are five times the price. So I think that's enough said. I'm gonna now take this off and end my day. It's quite early, but I'm very happy with that. So subscription to this channel, as always, is very optional. But if you decide to subscribe, I hope you enjoy your stay. Let me know down in the comments below uh, what your favorite concealer is whether it's one of those three or, you know, something else maybe that you'd like me to test out as well. New videos will be coming uh, soon with like full day testing and uh, kind of check-ins and wear in uh, things for a long time kind of videos back to the old days on my channel. But anyway, I'm gonna stop talking right now and let you go. I will see you in my next one. Bye.